Hello and, oh, excuse me, I have, I start off with no voice. Hello and welcome to Tifu's Investigative Card Making. <clears throat> My name is Teresa Bowman. I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator located in beautiful East Tennessee. Today, I am so glad you're with me. I'm starting a new series and I'm really excited about it. It's called Inspired By. Most of my videos, if you haven't noticed or haven't seen a, another video other than this one, um, I like to, or actually all my ideas come from other people who have made wonderful, beautiful cards. However, I'm not really good at casing the cards, which means taking the card that they made and making it again. I, uh -uh. I, I, there's always something different in it. And that's how it is. We all, that's how we create cards is that we get an idea from Pinterest or YouTube or Facebook or wherever, magazines. And, um, and then we create the card ourselves using our own ideas and our own ways of doing this. So I've decided to title that inspired by because I am totally inspired by those people that truly are very well create are very well very creative <laughs> okay so grab yourself your favorite beverage and get comfy and we'll take a short journey into card making my favorite today my favorite beverage today is hot cocoa, which as you can see, there is no water in it <laughs> because I was trying to do the pause thing for my, to, for my video in order to, you know, let the thing go steaming and making lots of noise. And, but mine doesn't have a pause. So if any of you out there in YouTube land or wherever land, um, know how to do that from an iPhone, please let me know. Cause I could surely use that, that help. My, I'm using um, a mug I just got from a friend of mine. She's in my um, my in-person card making class. And this says, make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Psalms 100 verse 1. This is my, she got this because she was thinking of me because I love music. Not only do I love it, I also sing. And I thought that's what I was going to be doing for my life is singing. So, um I'm, I did sing. I sang for a long, very long time, but, um, I, out of, I just left. <laughs> I don't sing hardly anymore and it's hard to get back into it. So anyways, back into this video, what we are doing. The first video I'm doing actually was going to be a different one, <laughs> but I was working on a kit in the last video called um hang on i got the little cover thingy uh the best destination kit and i thought oh i could just do a roll on to that one well the first inspired by video is um from really i should know these people's names right it's by um oh my stars i have her worksheet right here Rachel Tessman with Stamp Your Art, A R T Out dot com. And uh, if you don't know her already, she makes, she takes kits, uh, mostly paper pumpkin kits, and she makes, she do either doubles or triples them. It's really amazing um, how she can do that. And I've seen other people do it too, but she's the one that I see the most um, doing that. So, let me tell you, you may have seen whatever I'm making by other people, but the people that I say in my inspired by are the ones that I've, I saw do what I'm doing. Okay. I will mention their names at the beginning and hopefully at the end, if I don't get too nervous, because I always get nervous making these. Hence the reason I don't sing anymore because I got too nervous. Okay. So I'll, let me show you the cards that I showed in my last video. This is the this is the original cards cards. Um, 
it, they're tri, they're like trifold cards, no? And then you stamp on the inside. I have yet to stamp on the inside because I don't know what to put. I don't know, you know, it's a journey. Life is a journey, isn't it? Here's the other one. This adventure is just beginning. Oh, how important, how, um, travel it well. How awesome that is. This journey into inspired by is the beginning. I've never had titled things like this, um, like series. Happiness is the best destination. And isn't it? Let me put that so you can see it. I'm standing up right now. Open it up and still nothing. So those are the cards that um, were originally how the kit was made um, or how the kit was, you know, how you're supposed to make the cards and all that good stuff. But then she took these cards and she tri almost tripled them because there's nine cards and she turned it into 24 cards. And so the card that we're going to do today is made with this particular card, okay? Let me get the, um, the two that I've already done. And out of the two is, I'll tell you in a second. Okay, so here's the first one that she did. Oops, sorry. Um, I love this card, this is really cool. Um, it's the front, she cut the pieces into thirds. Okay. So I don't have the third piece. And then she took vellum and she put it on the back. I did not. I put, I'm using Cajun Crate. She used Pretty Peacock. See how that is different from what she did, right? And then I put the a white piece on the back so I can write because Look, I write books when I send cards. <laughs> Sometimes I don't. It depends on how I feel that day. Sometimes I write a book. So here's this one. And um, what I really wanted, and had I thought of this before I attached this piece, um, I wanted this side to go, to kind of like blend with the other side. Again, she used vellum. I, I obviously didn't. And what I was going to do, had I thought of it, was on this strip, this portion of it, I would have taken, uh, I don't know what the, the um, how do you call it, embossing folder is called, but um, it's the brick one. But I have the, uh, the first brick one that we had, and, ha and it shows the bricks like, and that's what I wanted to do, but I forgot. So, well, actually, I didn't forget. I, did, I just didn't think of it. Okay, so that would have been a really cool um, extra for this particular card. So if I make this one again, I would do that. And then the front is like the, the original, right? Okay, so, and this one is the one we're going to make today. I'm hoping I get all my measurements right. I should, because I have her PDF here. And I love this card. It is very cool. Uh, this adventure is just beginning, and it looks like I stamped a teeny bit crooked, but you can't tell, can you? Oh, sorry. And you open it up, and it says, Travel It Well. I love how Travel It Well goes with every um, uh, stamp that's in this particular kit. And then this side is, is uh, glued down, okay? So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you the cutting. I never do that kind of stuff, but I'm going to do it today. Oh my goodness. So please be praying for me because that's what we're doing. And I believe we're stamping together too. So um, I didn't make her card, but she used a two and a two inch circle um, punch to cut out her a, a white circle. And she had said you could, um, because there was a lot of white. Well, what I did was I uh, colored the white to make it not so white, and it's blue, okay? It's balmy blue, so we have more of a sky up there, yeah? And um, and we'll do that today, too. Okay, pretty cool. Oh, and I stamped the birds. Alrighty, let's get on with the card. And as I go, I have some in other instructions as well. I've got all my stuff here, all the things we need right here. Oh, I wanted to also introduce you to another um, something else that's coming 
in the paper pumpkins because I love paper pumpkin. That's how I started. And I don't see it. It was here a second ago, like two shakes of a lamb's tail before I got everything ready. And I don't see it at the top of my head. Top of my head. It wouldn't be at the top of my head. Um, well, I... Shoot me. Seriously? Okay. Well, I don't see it right at the moment, but there are some dies that will coordinate with the with every quarter of the um, paper pumpkins that we're going. So January, February, and March will have a stamp set and a uh, stamp, obviously. Um, we'll have a, um, oh, I thought that was it. Uh, a, a die to go with those three months. And I think that's so awesome. I love that idea because I love dies. I don't fussy cut. I am so terrible at fussy cutting. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm talking and trying to look at the same time and I'm not that talented in doing that kind of thing. But because um, I really wanted you to see the dies and if I can't find them, go, oops before this video is over. I will put them when I do the paper pumpkin because that one's coming soon. And I found, nope, I didn't. <laughs> Darn. I found them and no, I didn't. Doggone. Okay, I'm gonna stop hunting. So, no I'm not, I'm sorry. Oh, found them, yay. See, I told you, diligence, right? So these ones are called the Love of Spring Dyes. Well, first of all, the, the paper pumpkin that's coming this month um, coordinates with another stamp set, and I'll show you that when we do that video. Okay, so here is the dies for January, February, and March. Isn't that be awesome? And I did cut them. That's what you were seeing earlier. Whoopsie. I'm trying to get them. <laughs> um, here's the love. I did it in a, I did it in um, crushed curry, and I did do it. Oh, I know. I used the blackberry bliss on another inspired cards, and I don't want to show you that one until we actually do it. So um, that, and then <laughs> um, this is actually has is this die right here, whoops, this die right here, I cut off the flower to go on top of, um, well, I lost the stem. <laughs> oh dear. Um, okay, so I cut two of these, two of these, okay, and I cut the flower off the yellow one to go on the green one, which I don't have because I have no idea why I don't have it. But, oh, I know, because the green was the base of it. So, say, I have, pretend this is green. And it, I think it was Old Olive. And so I took the yellow flower off and put it on the green base that I had already cut of this. And it's, it's so cute. You'll see it next time. And then here's these leaves right here. Love it. And then, of course, the love is right here. And I cut this purposely, actually, when I, I did this one first. And I thought, oh, that's so cool. A lot of people use the negatives. And I saved the little doodad in the, in the inside to put there to make it more whatever. So, and I kept the yellow one also. So, I will set these aside for shakes. And, oh, dear. Here, let me try to pick these up, Okay. Okie dokie. So now I found those and I was really wanting to show you that and I'm glad I was able to. So let's get on with this card right here. Now what the first thing you do is you take a card base. Now you can do two card bases at the same time. I don't have any more Cajun craze to show you that. This was my last piece. Um, so what you do is you take your your full sheet of eight and a half by 11, turn it on the 11 inch side and score it at five and a half. Okay. Then you turn it back and you do what we're going to do at the moment. 
and that is cut. Let's get things out of the way so we don't lose them. Okay. You cut the um, the front like I did on. Seriously? Oh, here it is. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so we we want to make this flap right here. Yes. Okay. And so the way she showed to do it is this is going to be the front. So I'm going to turn it this way because I'm using this side of my trimmer, right? So I'm going to cut it an eighth or a, ha a quarter of an inch bigger than this. Okay, and that makes it two and a half, I believe. Let me look at her sheet again. Mm hmm. Oh, dee -do, dee -do. Yeah. Okay. It takes me too long to read things. So what I'm going to do is show you the measure measurement of this, which is, whoopsie, get that little black line there, two and a quarter. So I want this to be bigger. So I'm going to cut it at two and a half. We better leave that right there. So this is the side that's going to have the flap. So we're cutting it at two and a half. And then we're going to be here at, I'm sorry, I told you f score at five and a half. It's actually four and a quarter. No, it is five and a half. I, but when you line it up here, it'll say four and a quarter because we're on the, you know what? I have no idea. Just, just. Bear with me here. I'm going to take a white piece so I can make sure that I'm on the line at the four and a quarter mark. What you are doing is you're right on the score line and then you're going to shoot up to two and two and a half inches. Yeah. So press down and shake down. So see, I did it. Yay. Imagine that happening. <laughs> Seriously, I have difficulties too. I am not um, without f uh, flaws. So we did that, and but we can't attach these yet because I want to do something to them before we attach them. Oh, and I, I went ahead and made my bow just for the halibut. And then let's get this love out of the way. And we'll also stamp as well everything. Thing that we need to stamp so okay so the base is ready to be push put together how about if we just go ahead and glue this huh yeah let's do that that way that will be out of the way too so the base will be completely done as to cutting and folding and gluing okay and this is not cooperating yeah there it goes Ooh, my stars and garters I didn't need that much glue well we're going to hope and pray I didn't just squirt the daylights out of me. Oh, I'm, I am going to smush, mush. This, I, I like this one word. Someone, um, one of the ladies that we're going to be the, doing the inspired by with, she's, um, oh, what is her first name? Um, Julie with Pixie. Uh, she pixifies everything. <laughs> That's the only thing I can remember. I can't remember the name of her video, but most of you probably know her. She's she's awesome. Most and and the people that I I do the inspired by is because I feel that you know they explain things really well. You can do anything and everything that they do. Okay, we're done with this portion. Now we are going to. Grab a piece of paper that I forgot to bring. So I'm going to grab from my printer because I didn't bring any um, grid paper over for the occasion. I brought this over for some reason. Oh dear. Isn't this awesome? Don't you? This is such a cool glass thing. And the funny thing was, I originally wasn't going to get it because I already have a glass table. This table that is underneath my glass my um, 
mat is a glass table, but I put tack paper on it. So yeah. Now I would have done this beforehand. And actually when I was doing this, I was thinking um, to, to color it before I got started, but I didn't. <laughs> I don't know why. Anyway, so I'm going to take Balmy Blue and everyone, I have these in the big ones and the small ones. And no, I don't do all the blues in one. Uh -uh. No, I have to separate them. So you can imagine I don't have all the colors yet of, of these for these. I mean, I have all the colors of Stampin' Up! colors, but I have to buy all the brushes for that. So I haven't done that yet. I've got a few. Anyway, let's go to coloring this. And the funny thing was, is that I thought of that idea after I had glued these down and I did a really good job at coloring them, I must say, yes, because there's something on there. Um, I didn't get into the, the Cajun craze and I'm really proud of myself. Now I've noticed when I start a card, I, the first one I make, yeah, you know, I'm following instructions and I'm trying to be really paying attention to what I'm doing. And sometimes I do things wrong and you'll see the difference, hopefully, <laughs> when I do this. So, okay, painting, I mean, I'm um, not painting, um, coloring this, hopefully, nope, yep. Okay, let's move that up a little bit and let's, how about I'm just going to move these out of the way completely at the moment. Hopefully nothing will fall. I put that ink spot there to show you something else. So I will show you that when I get done with the coloring. So I'm going off the paper a little bit just to hold this. Okay. And you don't have to go hog wild unless you want to. I'm not going to go hog wild. I just want to tint this blue a little bit. And if you'll hang on for two shakes of a lamb's tail, my finger's doing the flicking thing and that really hurts. So I'm going to grab my, my, my humifuachi for that. Here it is. And put it on because it really hurts when it flicks. So there we go. See, it's a little ring. It holds my hand. It holds my finger, I mean. There we go. And this is, this is fine. Okay, we're done with that. Let's go on to the next one. I'm going to add, have add a little bit more. Color, 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 color. Mm -hmm. And it's okay. I got a little darky up there because I didn't go off very much. And, it, and balmy blue is so light that even if you get down here, you're not going to see it. So, I mean, it doesn't change the color or anything. Again, this... Um, this particular kit is in our kits collection. And again, the name of it is the best destination kit. I will put that in the description box below for you. And you could get, you could watch, um, sorry, uh, Rachel do this card and, um, she has a bunch for you over there. So you could watch, her do the cards and get her PDF for it. So if you're interested in doing that, great, awesome sauce. I am not going to, ha I, I will try to have a link to her thing. I'm not really good at the link things, but I'll put her name down on in the description box so that you can do it. Uh, I don't know how to do that. Um, even when I had um, oopsie, somehow I got a little blotch and I was already coloring. That's okay. We'll cover that up. But it was, um, uh, you know, I've, even for when I had a website, that was difficult. Now, if you would like to order from me and you don't have a demonstrator, okay, um, you can put in stampinup.com and put my name, which is Teresa, T-E-R-E-S-A. Bullman, B-U-H-L-M-A-N-N. -N. And um, you can you can put my name in there and you'll be you can order from me. Okay. Um, I felt that at the moment 
um, that I just, you know, at the moment, that's what I've, I've had a website for a very long time and I have no idea, but that's okay too. That will get, it's not perfection that we're looking for. Okay. What we're looking for is wanting to create beautiful cards so that we can send them to our family and friends and, um, and enemies. <laughs> You know what? Sometimes our enemies are enemies because they they just need somebody to be to acknowledge that they're somebody, right? Bullies are just bullies because nobody nobody showed them any type of care. The people that they did have were not really nice and how they became bullies. I have no idea because I've never been a bully. I've always been the one bullied. So, let me put this stuff back and look who we have here. We're breathing today. Yes, and we're going to be doing that when I stamp. Okay, so right now, let's see, what do we need? I need my card to see it, so I'll put that right there. All right, so we don't need this yet. Oh, I'm going to put this underneath. We're not gluing yet. So stamping. Yeah, there, we'll stamp in order. How's that? Okay, I need life uh we're using this ta this thing sentiment thingamajigger that um oh and by the way i don't have the names of everything <laughs> i come up with interesting names for everything and it was so funny because at the store and hopefully i have one left i bought four of them and um yes i have one <laughs> I have one left. Ooh, yummy. And um, I saw this in the store. <laughs> have y'all ever seen this? It's called whatchamacallit. They're deliciously, deliciously, <laughs> I can't even talk. Deliciously crispy. And they're made with chocolate and peanut butter. Well, peanut flavored crisp. And they're caramel. They have caramel. Oh my gosh. Let me tell you, I, I broke into the other one that I originally bought for to do this with. And, oh my goodness, I, could, I just couldn't wait anymore. I had to find out what it tastes like. And, oh my gosh, they're going to have these in heaven. No, they're not. It's not in the Bible. But I just love that because they're whatchamacallits. And that's what I always say. Um, whatchamacallits or dumaflachis or anything like that. They don't have a candy bar called dumaflachi yet. If they do, I want royalties. <laughs> I should have royalties from the whatchamacallit. <sighs> Probably not the only one. Okay, so we're going to change this one even up a teeny tiny bit. Um, but first, we're going to put the birds on as soon as I find them. Okay, here's the birds. Oh, would you like to know the name of what's on here real quick? There's birds. Happiness is the adventure is in the best destination. Sorry. This adventure is just beginning. Life is a journey and travel it well. See how that travel well just goes with all of them, right? And technically I probably would say that in every one of them. I don't know what that is. Okay, it's a whatchamacallit. And um, it has the moon and then I have no idea what these are. Um, raindrops? I don't know. I have no I earthly idea what they are. But if anybody does, I would appreciate you telling me in the description box below. Hey, there is a description, not, yeah, description box down yonder. And if you have any nice comments, because I've had to delete one that I didn't feel was very nice. And um, so I deleted it. But anyways, if you have a nice comment or a comment that would be helpful for me, in my videos, maybe you have a suggestion. That would be good. Nicely said. Um, please put it in the description box below. Encouragement is really, really helpful for me right now because I'm a little discouraged. But um, but I but I'm encouraged by this new um, series that I'm going to do, and I don't know how long it's going to be because there's a lot of people out there that are very creative, and I don't watch every single one of them. I don't have the time in the day to do that. Uh, if the Lord decides to give us more time, that would be great, but he hasn't yet. 24 hours in a day. 
Um, okay, so clouds and a moon. Yeah? Okay, so right now we're doing the birds. So I'm going to take a block. And I heard this idea from somebody that she takes... Uh-oh. Hang on. Two shakes of a lamb's tail. There's something on my stamp. Okay. She takes the block, and she doesn't get the smallest one that it'll fit. See, this would fit on this block, but it fits on this block, and it doesn't give you much room for anything else. So she takes the, which this would be the next one, th that was A and this is B, and she puts her stamp on there. Now, Rachel, um, well, I guess it's with sentiments, but I guess on this too. She does, she angles them. And she says that helps because then you're not concentrating on the edge of the block. You're just concentrating on putting it straight. I think that's a really good idea. And I've actually been doing that. But then I took this other young lady's thing and I don't remember who it is. I can't remember. I'm, I've got too many people in my head. And yeah. So we're going to take Misty Moonlight because that is a, one of the colors in the um, coordinating color thing. I'm going to move these to the side so I don't get them inky. And I'm going to stamp approximately the same place. Oopsie. And, oh, tip number one for you here. Well, of my own. I have noticed that if you go mushy-mushy on these birds or anything that's thin, it'll look yucky. So just go down lightly. I'm not even pushing and lift up. See how they're not mushy mushy? They actually look like birds. Let me show you what mushy mushy looks like. Where's that paper? Here it is. Mushy mushy looks like that. Well, not really, but I had some ink in there. So you don't want your birds to look like that. Just little tappy lights, okay? So no doing that because we want our cards to look nice, right? Okay, so I also did some birds over in the corner over here. And I did tell you we're gonna, I'm gonna hoo, 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 breathe. Just a light tap. And then actually, yeah, I could do that again. We're going to try to hide this thing. Eh, we did pretty good. It didn't do the top dot, but who knows? The sky isn't perfect, you know? So, well, actually it is. God made it. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to spritz my um, stamp and scrub. Hopefully, right? Yeah, I did. Just a couple of squirts, and I'm, I still have some. I, I just keep refilling this with the new stuff. So I'm going to clean. Usually I stamp off the excess of that ink because there's still ink on there, and then, and then I clean it. But there we go there. Don't know why it's turning funny. Okay. Um, that's, that particular stamp is done. So let's get out the clouds. So the clouds, I'm not going to be perfect, I'm putting them there, are really cool. And I'm going to use, I think I'll go, let's see what Balmy Blue does. Because I like Balmy Blue. Oops, it easy. Ugh, not fiddling with it. And this, these clouds also will fit on this block. Let's see what Balmy Blue does. Let, actually, let's look at other colors. So... You see, I did not use the clouds in this one here. Uh, Daffodil, Blommy, Blommy, Balmy, Blue, Misty Moonlight, Costa Cabana. Eh, nah, I don't think so. Well, it's close to the Balmy Blue. I'm going to try Balmy Blue. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. We'll do it on one. How about we'll do it on the, I didn't want to put it in the front one. We'll do it on this one here. <gasps> no! Did you all see that? Yeah, I bet you did. I'm going to stamp off with this one. Because that is Misty Moonlight. And I didn't want Misty Moonlight. Oh, I may want it. 
Actually, you know what? Yes, I do. Even though the birds are misty moonlight, I will do the balmy blue on this one, okay? Just to see. But I do like the misty moonlight with that when I went to stamp it off. So I'm going to go right there. Oh, that looks nice. Okay. Then we're going to go. The birds are coming down from way up above, which no, they don't do that. So let's put them right about there. And then we will get the balmy blue and see how we like it with that. Yeah. Okay. Yummy. Now we'll take this off because now I could have done the stamp it off and get a lighter misty moonlight. That would have been a good idea. We're not doing that. Balmy blue is right over here. All my inks are straight in front of me. That makes it easier. They used to be behind me, but I didn't like it that way. Well, that's okay, and I'm going to leave it, okay? But I think it did need to go a little darker than that, okay? If I used my Stamparatus, now we can't... Um, Stampin' Up! no longer sells the Stamparatus, but I'm not buying another one like others that are out there. Um, there's another one, I guess, out there. And I'm not buying it for just, no. I use my Stamparatus. So, and I like it. It has two plates. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> Squirrel! <laughs> So those are the inside pieces. Now, oh, we still need to stamp this. Hi, yi, yi. If I could only remember to do things. Okay. Let's okay. Let's get on with it. <laughs> Don't you just hate it when I jibber jaw too much? I do. I was blessed with the gift of gab. So excuse me. Okay. So, hmm. What are we going to put on this one? Let's see what they put on it. Originally, they put Life is a Journey. And you know what? That's exactly what I thought of, too. So, I like that one. Life is a Journey. Travel it well. I like that. Okay. I have, in the past, put my, my stamps on here. And it's like, nope, that's not working well because it sticks to this really well. <laughs> Oops, I'm gonna try Rachel's idea since we're using her card. Oh, thank God, it wasn't inked. I didn't check. And I am going to use Misty Moonlight for that. Since we've used Misty Moonlight for all of our accents, I'm gonna use, use Misty Moonlight. And you can go on Rachel's. She used uh, Pretty Peacock on hers because everything she had was that she was using for that card was Pretty Peacock. Now, I'm left-handed and everything I do, whether I sign a paper or whatever, I make it crooked, except for this. I didn't do that for that, but this I'm gonna have to. So, let me take a moment and breathe. Actually, I'm not gonna breathe. I'm gonna hold my breath like they do in x-ray. and breathe, because they don't want you to pass out, although I've done that. I am not pressing really, really hard, and there we go. That turned out really nice, I like that. Okay, so I thought, actually just this very moment, hmm, mm -hmm. any gems with this? Oh, I see. Okay, I want to show you something super duper quick. I'm not going to do that. I Actually, yes, I am. Um, for this sentiment, I'm going to move all these guys because they're dry now. They've been dry. I want to show you something. I just found this out, okay? Because I didn't do it on my um, on my other card. And you know what? We are going to do it on that other card, on the original. That's not, is that the original? No, wrong card. Yikes. My whatchamacallit got in the way. On this one, 
Now, when you go into the instructions, see, we're doing two videos at the same time, right? Um, they tell you to grab that, that um, stampy, that dotty thing that I didn't know what it was and stamp it on your card. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to look at the uh, picture again. And that's what we're going to do with this. I, I, it, it's okay, but it's, it's, okay, for lack of better wording, it's blah, okay? It's blah. So I want to do something else to it. Now I'm going to need a bigger block, and hopefully I brought out enough bigger blocks to do this. Um, this is the block that it came with, so it should fit. Because with, when the, when the, this keeps sticking to that. When um, the kits come, most, if they're stamping kits, they'll come with it, their, its own block. Now, these are kits only, okay? These are in our kit collections, and we've got a plethora of them, and we just came out with two more, and that's a new thing that Stampin' Up! is going to be doing, is bringing out two more kits every month. So that's really cool. I believe it is every month. So we're going to take this one, ay, ay, ay. Oh, baby. and I'm going to peel nicely. I, I'm going to try something new, which for me, it's new to me. Okay, I've not seen anybody do it, but I'm going to try some. Because a lot of times when the, the, the stamps are made, pull, 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 blah, 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 any of the stamps, they have like a film on them, okay? And then it doesn't make it easy for you to um, uh, to stamp. You know, it doesn't make really nice stamps. I should have showed you that, but I didn't. So what I'm doing is, even though I'm really not wetting the stamp, but it is wet on this side, kind of, sort of, and then I'm gonna dry it off, like, and take off that layer of film, okay? And now we're going to take the, well, they use the Gorgeous Grape. So I will take out my Gorgeous Grape. It's around here somewhere. Yes, there it is. Ugh. My hand is not cooperating. I have to grab like this because I can't grab like that. Anyway, not that that's any of your problems. It's mine. I will deal with it. And I will stamp lightly, ink it up. You don't want to mushy, mushy, mushy on these on these um, ink pads because then you'll get excess ink that you didn't want in the first place and it'll get everywhere. Like I showed you on those birds, yeah? So we're going to go, I reckon it'll be this way. Well, it's going to be. Again, I have to turn my thing. Isn't that cute? That is just so cute. And I'm going to fold this back because I kind of sort of want it to go everywhere. Well, it doesn't have to. Okay. You know, sometimes less is enough. You know. Okay. So I want to do the same thing with this to give it some something. You know, it needs a little something, something. Okay. There we go. I'm just curious. Oh, now that would have been a good idea. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to Ink it up, stamp off, and stamp on here. So now it has a little something, something. You can't see that. <laughs> there it goes. See, it's got a little something, something. And I like that. Now I love this stamp. I'm going to just use it like all the time. We are done with stamping, gluing. Now we just need to... Uh, put the card together. I hope this hasn't bored you at all. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And I hope you make these cards. You go over to uh, Rachel Testaments, which I will give you that information in the description box below. Let me clean this before I get it everywhere. Oops, wrong thing. Yeah, we don't want it everywhere, do we? No, we don't. Uh-oh. Stamp came and fall again. Now I am going to have to spritz it a little bit more. Okay, two little spritz. 
Yeah, this trigger finger thing doesn't feel too fantastic. How many of you have ever had tri trigger finger? I've had it in almost all my fingers. Can you imagine? I And I don't know why. It might be, I understand that it is a symptom of using it, or not symptom. It's when you get, um, you use your like hands in a certain way and, and like crocheting, knitting, card making, anything. It may happen to you. I'm hoping it doesn't. Okay, so let's do the front. Let's adhere the front. Now, when doing this, if you're a love, if you're a love low, <laughs> oh, dear Lord, <sighs> I'm having a whatchamacallit moment. <laughs> um, if you're using glue, do not go hogged wild on it, okay? Because we're using, a, these are, this is the envelope, okay, of, from this card kit. So as you can see, the envelope's on the back here, on the back side, this is the one I'm using. So, um, yeah, so you want to, you, you don't really want to um, go too heavy handed on it. Because like designer series paper, you just don't want to go heavy handed. It is a nice thick envelope, but I am using this. I, it's still, it is still this. I got this idea inspired by... <laughs> Um, another stamp, a stampin' person that, um, stampin' person that I totally enjoy watching is Maria from Maria's Crafting Corner. She is so awesome and she, it's, it, we've, <laughs> if it'll come out, this will give you a nice thin, ay miracles, layer of, um, I just said I Wednesday, Okay. I didn't say anything bad. Um, see a nice layer of glue. And as you can see, it's still a little clogged up in there. And I did have a needle over here, but I don't know what I did with it. So I'm just lightly putting on the glue. Now this will not give me like that wiggle room that, you're, that we talk about with glue because you kind of sort of have to like put it on there a little thick and I don't want to do that with this. I'll show you that in a minute. Let me, shh, I'm concentrating. Sorry for the dead air. Okay. Okay, I can breathe now. I can talk to you now. <laughs> and because that isn't working super duper glue, and I probably need to go get another, um, another like longer needle to stick in there, about the same diameter. And anyway, so this came from our... Um, Ah, uh, I took the label off. Um, oh, I can't think of the name of it for the life of me. It's in the back of the book. It's in where the glues are. Oh, my stars, I can't think of it. Seriously, I watch my call it. So if you're going to use this, and let's hope that this would work. <laughs> um, it's going to come out a little bit faster. Yeah, that goes on the front. Um... Yeah, see that? It comes out a little bit faster. And you will have wiggle room with that kind of fastness. But I'm still going, uh, having a light hand to it. Oopsie, apparently not in that corner. So I will have wiggle room with this. I have known of this because um, I have a tendency of being heavy handed Oopsie. Oopsie. Hang on, two shakes of a lamb's tail. Okay. Oh, wow. I don't know how she does it, but I think I'm right. Okay, so front is almost done. 
we'll come back to that in two shakes of a lamb's tail because I want to do the inside. Did I do? Oh, I didn't stamp it. I thought I did. I'm sorry. Uh, we're going to quickly stamp travel it well. Okay. These are, um, uh, this is another good tip. This is not sticking. Okay. Because it's got something on the back of it and probably didn't press really good. But it's a good idea to tell you that um, when you when it when your stamp doesn't want to stick to whatever you have it on the the Dumaflachi or not, you um, can wet the stamp, and it will um, it will get oops helps if you put it the right way. It it will go back to sticking on that your block because sometimes it'll not stick on your block and stay there and then that's that's terror in its own way so i'm going to get that misty moonlight out again let me just test the waters here yeah i'm going to go ahead and do it at the top because i got to have a place to write my book this will be a short book. It's one of those mini ones. Again, oopsie. It's photopolymer, so I'm hoping, because photopolymer, you can see right through where you are, where you're going. And usually I get this really well. And I did, kind of, sort of. Anyway, I didn't do the well well, but hey, it looks okay. Just looks like your, blur your vision's blurred. <laughs> it's okay with this one, honestly. Um, I'll have a place to, 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 uh, to uh, um, write my name. Now, you could, and on, uh, probably, if you wanted to, if you didn't have as much room on this one, or you're one of those ones that also like to write a book, you can put a piece back here, like I did on that other card that I showed you earlier. Okay, moving this, moving right along. Now this I'm using cardstock. I cut the envelope wrong. So <laughs> she said in her video, you could put um, a piece of white cardstock on there. And so I, I took her I advan uh, advice and I'm doing that. So, Thank goodness she said that. Because <laughs> I wouldn't know what to do. Okay. This has turned out better than the other one. So when I make a card, sometimes the first one doesn't turn out as well because, I, like I said earlier, I'm concentrating on it. Okay, so I'm going to take dimensionals. These are not the ones that came in the kit. I, I stuck them with my other dimensionals whoops whoops we gotta know which side I'm gonna make it go uh, um, on this side so to hold it now I did try putting it on the other side with the, the other card and it didn't it didn't do too well because you couldn't open this one without flicking it and I didn't like that so I'm putting it on this side. Now her circle, she did the same thing. She put it on this side. I mean centered, but she put it on, she put the adhesives on this side. And that's our card. I feel like we're missing something right here. Maybe some more birds. I don't know. Maybe those birds should have been down here. However you do it, I'm leaving it for right now. Oh, you know what? I was going to put the bow, so let's let's just do that, just for the halibut, okay? Maybe we could stick the bow over here and look. <laughs> It'll give you that something, something, yeah? Okay, so let me show you something. I have a plethora of glue dots that I put in these envelopes, and I've got whatever was in the kit, and if it was like a glue dot or a strip or whatever, it goes in that little bag. And dimensionals are the same way. Let me show you. Uh, most of my dimensionals from kits are in here. And for some reason, I have glue dot in there. It, oopsie, I just dropped my 
tear and tape. That help, that's helpful. I'll get that in a second. Now, I use my take your pick tool and I wear this poor little guy out a lot. And while I'm picking it up, I'm also going to take off the top because the glue dot itself, well, I think I'm going to take it off. Glory be. Usually, okay, so it's on there. Usually you can take off the top. If not, that's okay too. Yep, it's not. So I'm going to stick it right there because that's about, oops, not in that direction. I am the oopsie queen. I have labeled myself the oopsie queen, oopsie queen because I made more mistakes than anybody I can think of out there doing cards and I have said in most a lot of my videos that it's okay for us to say oopsie you just really don't want your physician to say that <laughs> it would not it would not go well if it did that now I have had um, an oopsie from a physician but it wasn't his fault it was the mechanics that they now have to use. And it did an oopsie. But I don't blame that doctor at all. I love that doctor. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't love, love that doctor. I do love that doctor because he's very, he's always concerned about how things are going. All right, that turned out okay. And look, I covered up my something, something needing thing. I am gonna do that, yeah. See, left the tails long, gave the, that side something to do or extra, sign your name or sign whatever over here. My travel it well still looks well. <laughs> Sometimes on my cards, I will put on the back, I will put Tara B, because I usually go by Tara, but for the business, I'm, saying, I'm going back to my real name, which is Teresa. You can pronounce it however you wish. Um, the American pronunciation, I can't pronounce, so I say Teresa. Um, but I put that and the year, month and year that I made the card. So wouldn't that be so cool? Um, I just put it in ink or if you have stamp and write markers, you can use those and write it. I hope you enjoyed this, this, uh, video today. Let me grab that other card from Rachel Tessman. And again, I will, let's move just everything so you can see that. Oh, here's the other one. So we remade this one. You can see the difference. This was my first one. See, you make it. And then um, with hers, like I took her idea. Okay, this is all her idea, not mine. And I added to her idea. Okay, so I, I made it for me. So when you go and make a card inspired by whomever, do your, or add your creativity to it, okay? I'm not, I, I, I am not a professed, <laughs> professed. I'm not a profess like those um, professed bachelors or however you say that. Uh, so what am I call it? Um, uh, I'm, I'm <laughs> first of all, I'm not a bachelor, I am married. My ring doesn't fit on here right now because it's uh, it swells a lot. So anyway, uh, you know, I'm I don't profess to be the best at what I do, but I am I am learning. I'm achieving things that I never thought I'd do. I um, just to name a few, I learned the ruler. I did not know these were centimeters when I first started. Because I'm like, okay, what side do I use? And then my husband taught me. I mean, I knew inches and half inch. And I don't think I knew quarter or sixteenths. But, hey, I'm not saying I'm stupid. Because I'm not. I'm learnable. Or not learnable. Teachable. And so are you. And creativity takes time. Take, you don't have to have an ounce of creativity in you. Just a oomsy bit of it and when you go and and do videos from other people like Miss Rachel Tessman you become better 
you get better at what you're doing because you'll add something else to it. Like, okay, this one, instead of, and she suggested it, I didn't. Um, she suggested, she's using Pretty Peacock, I told you earlier. You could use the Pretty Peacock, like she did, or you could use the vellum, like she did. And I did not do either because the vellum I can't find. I have a ton of it and I can't find it. So I thought, okay, she suggested using cardstock. So I did. However, I had a twist on that too. I wanted it to flow since I was using, I don't have Pretty Peacock. At least I don't think I do. I must have lost it too. But I love how the Cajun Craze went with this one. However, if I had put it with the the... Are if you have the other um, brick um, uh, embossing folder that we had, um, th that would work really well with this because it would match this side. And then you take your ink on a sponge, sponge dauber, whatever, or on a, well, I wouldn't, you could use one of the little, one of these, and put it in black and then and then cut, highlight it so that it really matches this side. Just some tips, just some ideas for you. But you are creative. And that's what in um, T. Boo's Investigative Card Making, the reason I'm that is because our tagline is, we help you, no, I forgot what my tagline was. <laughs> T. Boo's Investigative Card Making helping you to be um, to discover the creativity in you. <laughs> That's what it is. I haven't said it in such a long time, but I love my husband. He comes up with those wonderful things. Um, this is the first time I actually came up with a series on my own. So I hope you follow me in this series of Inspired By. This one is inspired by Miss Rachel Tessman of Stamp yourartout.com and I'll put that in the in the description box below so you can find see the other cards that she made with this um kit okay thank you so much I'm putting these away like I'm going somewhere let me let you take that and oh you know what I forgot to give have you do this sorry you can take your screenshot of this. It has my name spelling on it. Take the screenshot, go to stampinup.com. If you are you have a demonstrator, please order from your demonstrators. Um, but uh, my name is Teresa Bowman with Stampin' Up. And right here, it says stampinup.com. Go there, put my name in there if you do not have a demonstrator and you can order from me this kit. And I would so appreciate that. And if you wouldn't mind, please um, click on the, the uh, oh my goodness, I'm having a hard time with this. The thumbs up button to tell me that you did like the video. And also, if you don't care to subscribe, that would help me a great deal too. And I'm looking forward to this uh, Inspired By series. And I hope you are too. Thank you so much. Go out and make it a blessed day for y'all. Bye-bye.